Well, you know what? We were just talking about this very fact. 70 degrees it was on Christmas Eve. A lot of folks were saying, oh, this is going to be bad. We're not going to get right. any snow for the year. But we told you in our winter weather outlook that there could be a big one with connections to El Nino. El Nino is not over. El Nino is actually fueling the storm. Yeah. And it, we could have our seasonal snowfall total of 30 inches out of one storm. It's certainly possible. I, I, I mean, just looking at the trends on radar, uh, that's one thing. Once you get into the situation and you stop looking at the models altogether, which is the tools we use to help forecast mm -hmm. where this thing is going. So right now we're just looking at the radar, looking at the trends, and seeing how this storm is evolving. And one thing that is starting to concern us mm -hmm. is the fact that these heavy snow bands, they don't look like they're going to be shutting off anytime soon. And, Christine, we have seen snowfall amounts about a foot and a half, but those drifts, you tell me about those drifts. We just had a picture of a, of a person's house. Open the door. And there's a dog standing in front of there. I wish I had the picture to show you. And this drift is higher than the dog. So, I mean, this is incredible. We've had reports of two to three foot drifts, and these could block your doorway. So, please think about your elderly neighbors and just be a good neighbor in these kind of events. Right. Help each other to, to shovel out and make sure, you know, if you're running a generator, that it has clear uh, exhaust in the back there, a good space around that generator. And dig out your fire hydrants, things That's that right. we've been telling you. This is getting serious. That's right. Help the fire and the police departments out, that's for sure. Uh, one thing we do want to show you uh, on our satellite and radar, something that's very interesting to us, is uh, what looked like a little bit of a dry patch that was starting to fill in here. You see the blue circle I'm drawing on the screen. Look what's starting to come up from the southeast again. So more heavy bands of snow. This is basically uh, acting like a fire hose, if you will, of moisture, and it's pouring right into this cold air. We don't really expect to see these snow bands, these intense snow bands, to wind down anytime soon, which is why we're starting to ramp up uh, our concern and a little bit of, se of the severity on this particular system. Another thing of concern, we still do have blizzard warnings in our southeast counties. This includes York, Lancaster, also towards Chester counties, and this does go until 7 o'clock uh, going through the morning hours. We could see wind gusts topping mm -hmm. uh, 35 to 40 miles per hour uh, and, and certainly something that can disorient you. The visibilities can go down. The snow can make you lose sense of direction. So just be careful. If you have to be out and about, just be careful and try and stay indoors uh, for sure in these uh, dangerous conditions. Even if you're not in the blizzard warning, you're seeing the winter storm warnings, blizzard conditions possible, and we are already seeing that. So snow totals coming down, prolific rates already, and we are not even close uh, to being done with this. A little bit more on timing here. Here's Christine Ferreira. Christine. All right, now we've been talking about the snow intensity, those intense rates, one to three inches per hour in the strongest bands. And it seems like there were individual bands earlier, but now there's just one huge band right across the Susquehanna. Valley. So these snowfall rates, one to three inches per hour, they're going to continue for several more hours. I don't see it tapering in our northernmost counties until around lunchtime. And then shortly thereafter, we'll start to see western areas west of the Susquehanna River lightening up in intensity. Eastern areas east of the river, you'll be last to get rid of the snow. So here's our snowfall intensity scale. You can see the times here kind of tapering off as the day wears on. But this is midnight, and I still think the last flakes will be falling east of the Susquehanna River then, so we still have a long way to go. Here's Super Doppler 8, or sorry, uh, the predictor, and you can see the back edge just starting to get out of the snow. Our northernmost counties, Mifflin, Union, Snyder, Northumberland, that's lunchtime, but the rest of the area solidly under moderate to heavy snowfall. It pivots a little more, but hey, this is 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are still seeing possibly those rates of 1 to 2 inches per hour. Finally, we hit 8 p.m., most areas west of the Susquehanna River are starting to wind down by 10, 11, 12 a.m. as we head into Sunday. Things are really starting to wind down everywhere. So I think Sunday morning is going to be your dig out day for sure. We will have uh, two to maybe three feet of snow on the ground widespread across the Susquehanna Valley. So one of our biggest storms in recorded history. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. What we're tracking over the next couple of days, no big warm up, so no concerns for any repeats of what happened during the blizzard of 96. That week later, we had a melt. The Walnut Street Bridge got wiped away. That was just the 20th anniversary earlier this week. Uh, nothing like that coming our way here. We will see temperatures solidly in the 30s for highs, lows in the 20s, and no big storms headed our way next week. So kind of a sigh of relief there, guys, but we just kind of reached the halfway point through the storm. And remember, this is a very dangerous storm. We'll be updating you more coming up. Back to you.